on a t-shirt Like you never existed I'm done being a victim This my villain era, look out I go hard for my heart Play with her, it go down Now you blocked Don't make a sound Don't wish you no harm But I hope that no good come around Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel Or welcome if you're new here I would love you to subscribe and stick around Because you are going to love it here So happy Friday It's Friday already crazy okay so i'm about to do my coffee and i feel like i always show you so i'm even gonna do it again on this vlog so my glasses are in the dishwasher so i'm using these these are from walmart they're so pretty you know they're kind of small and slim but they're gonna do the job okay so how you guys are doing today Tell me, how are you doing? How you feeling? I'm doing great. Um, Match is outside in the patio and <laughs> someone commented in one of my videos um, basically asking me if I take my dog out. Um, and of course, I mean, I take Max out every single morning and I remember replying it that I'm not always show everything that I do. The vlogs are very curated and with a lot of editing. So some things I do that I don't really show because I probably forgot or I'm on the go or you know can I can guess what I'm doing. So I thought that was kind of funny because I have vlogs. Hold on, y'all. I have vlogs here where I constantly show taking Max to the park, taking him out to the patio, and it's like, I understand we had new subscribers, but like, of course I take Max every single day. He do his business, he don't do anything inside of the house. The house is always clean as far as that. He know what to do and not to do inside the house, so of course he always go outside. I'm trying to do my best to, I guess, show that Max used the restroom and he's well taken care of so let me tell you something i'm in love with this coffee for me it's like starbucks what and it's crazy because i mean i know the bottle is from starbucks but like you can get so much out of it you know like if you go right now you spend probably like five or six bucks and then tomorrow you want more of the pumpkin spice latte and it's another five dollars but the bottle itself which let me show you again As a matter of fact i went yesterday to the market and I have a second one. I'm not playing it. It's very good. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's 40 ounces. And I still have left from the first one that I showed you guys. And two or three blocks ago, I'm not sure. But yeah, yesterday I went and bought more just because I know this is almost gone. But it's so good. And the money that you save, just doing it at home, which honestly, I'm saying doing it at home, but like, it's already made, you know? You just have to pour it in the glass. And I just, I might touch with, you know, my whipped cream. Um, so good. I'm not sure where I left off the last vlog, honestly. Um, oh, the Christmas stuff. I'm obsessed with those ornaments, like insanely obsessed. I'm really excited for the ornaments I got from Hobby Lobby. I posted an Instagram story, I don't even know where it's my phone right now, but it's like a mix of all of them and it looks so beautiful. Like I definitely gonna probably use some of them here. I'm gonna have to go back to Hobby Lobby and buy some of them for my Christmas tree, which is gonna be in my main living room. Because they're so pretty. Like, the office is cool, but I'm only going to see the office. You know what I mean? If I get some guests over, they can see the main Christmas tree, and it's going to look amazing. I'm still thinking if I'm going to do a Christmas tree in my bedroom. Like, i never done it. If you think about it, November is almost there. So, cannot wait to start the party for Christmas. Yeah, let me bring you guys along in my apartment, discuss some of the plans. And just let me know what you guys think about these ideas because I'm obsessed. You guys know this a new apartment for me. Last year, I did my apartment tour Christmas edition 2022 and it was an amazing experience. I still watch that video and sometimes I cry, like literally. It just looks so pretty and I'm just so proud of myself because again, it was only like 500 square feet and 
I maximize it. Like, it just looks so good. Like, everything looks so cohesive. And I got really good feedback on that apartment tour. So, I will link it down below once again if you are new here and you want to see how my apartment was looking for last year. So, so anyways, this is a new apartment. We had new furniture pieces and a lot of new items that I just know the Christmas is going to look differently here. So, let me show you guys around. Okay, starting with a table. You guys know this table is new this year it's a travertine table so for all my travertine lovers get you one of these <laughs> i saw a few and some websites and it's so so expensive so i got mine from facebook marketplace i drove four hours and back and forth was like eight and it was a very exhausting drive because i went all the way to virginia to get this baby and she got this for a long time and when I was scrolling, I saw it again and I was like, it must be like the price is so high and people are not willing to pay for it. So I got it down for, I think it was $1,000, $900 or $1,000, I'm not sure. But she got it listed for almost $2K, which honestly is not bad at all. Like these things range for over $10,000. And Restoration Hardware, they have these type of tables as well. So if you cannot find a vintage one, RH is a great option. But also um, Etsy and, you know, places like that, they sell these tables as well. But it's very rare and that's the reason why I did the drive and... I'm not regretting this, like this is my favorite purchase in my entire apartment and after that will be my couch. <laughs> so very excited for this. I know on Christmas it's gonna look so pretty with the greenery. It's gonna just balance everything out. So still thinking about doing a tablescape or just actually just keep my vintage pot and just put those beautiful um, things that I got from Kirkland last year. So that's kind of like where i'm going for i also wanted to clarify that pretty much everything that i used last year is gonna be on this year because i literally bought everything new last year i bought a new christmas tree new ornaments i spent a lot of money but i was willing to do that because i just wanted to get rid of the old things and now since my decor is been evolving and you know i had new furniture pieces i feel more inspired so yeah i still gonna repurpose everything like you don't have to feel like you had to get something new every year i would suggest if you want something new maybe one item or two but honestly try to keep everything because what's the purpose like when you are growing up i never have christmas when i was a child but i know people have christmas since when they were kids and for me that's like a nostalgic when you kind of preserve everything through the years so that's just my opinion unless your decor change and your style change by all means, feel free to change everything if you want to. But personally, I want to invest in pieces that I'm going to use through all my years. So, very excited because I'm still in love with those pieces. Like, I'm not tired at all. I'm just so ready to decorate. Okay, so on this table that is close to the dining room, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do. But um, maybe adding the nutcracker that I got last year from Sudo McGee. I fruit branches, of course. And very festive still don't know if i'm gonna add garland around these um mirror i might do okay the golden hour in the morning are you kidding me can we just agree that the curtains was just a must-have like i'm gonna back up again and just walk in again <gasps> shut up <laughs> like so pretty so pretty okay so i did a lot of laundry yesterday and i just mopped the floors everything looks so clean it smells amazing i just kind of put these branches out of my shoulder because i feel like they were like too tall and i'm like girl you don't need all of that so yeah they're more shorter they look so cute and my pillows that i got from the thrift store you guys like look at this it is me or what but it looks like something vintage maybe it's vintage i don't even know like for five dollars it's just a perfect color and i did the same thing here on this side 
It's so pretty. Okay, so that coffee table is definitely gonna be a vibe for Christmas. I already know this travertine vase is gonna stay there and I'm definitely gonna put those beautiful Kirkland scenes and they just kind of look so good because, you know, they tend to kind of like go down. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's just so beautiful. It's almost like a cascade. So they're gonna go here, of course, the candle. I'm gonna try to keep it just the same as last year. Y'all, the curtains. Okay. I cannot wait to put the curtains in my office, in my bedroom, everywhere. Okay, I'm here in my bedroom, and if I do a Christmas tree here, these are my thoughts, okay? If I ever do a Christmas tree, I might put it right here, but it has to be a pencil Christmas tree. Those really thin and tiny ones, but like kind of tall, but very really slim. I think that will look very beautiful, but also another option can be in this corner, so, I'm not sure. It can be in both ways. The only bad thing is this is the closet and I use this closet a lot. So if I open it, I have to be careful with the Christmas tree there. But I also assume if the Christmas tree is thin and slim and tiny, it shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't take too much. You know what I mean? So the reason why is because the window is right there if anybody is walking on this way because over there is the dog park and a lot of people cross by here. I don't know, I guess they can see through the window and it just looks so good, you know? And here, as you guys can see, I cannot really do that because the way this apartment is, this is the only way I can actually put the sofa. So I really want to do something nice on this year for Christmas. And I think putting a Christmas tree here is gonna be a vibe. Of course, adding steams in all these vases that I have around my garland, just like last year. As far as bedding, I gotta keep everything the same. The only thing I might buy this year from Target is probably a new blanket, just to cozy it up and have something different. It's still a little bit wet, but for the most part, it's pretty clean. Look at that here. dog part it's not even one single dog here but it's okay I mean it's Friday it's like two o'clock people are just working getting off the school I don't know so it's okay then later we're gonna go to the trail that I love oh my god the sun is hitting but I'm gonna chill out here for a little bit so he can get all this energy out before he start pulling me on the trail <laughs>
Oh my god. <laughs> they are all sweaty. <laughs> I don't know for how long I walk, but we are exhausted. You're never gonna see Max sitting down in the back. And when he does, that means he's very tired. The walk was amazing. I'm about to go to the market once I drop off Max. And I just wanna do a good smoothie. I have a protein workout powder that I bought months ago. I'm not sure if it's still good. I'm wondering. If not, it's fine. But I bought it like maybe three or four months ago but I never opened it so I'm gonna check it out but I'm in the mood to do like a nice smoothie or maybe like a kai bowl something like that something very healthy after this walk okay let's go home Matt do you like the workout <laughs> 